Hello, and welcome to the Thai Center video series on including students with significant cognitive disabilities in school-wide positive behavioral interventions and supports, also known as PBIS. I'm Dr. Patricia McDade from the Thai Center, and this video is focused on creating inclusive acknowledgement systems. The image on the screen depicts a group of students with and without disabilities together in a school hallway, smiling at the camera. In this video, I will provide you with some strategies to include all students in Tier 1 PBIS acknowledgement systems. The image on the screen depicts a group of school-aged children with and without disabilities on a playground. As a reminder, there are five components of Tier 1 PBIS. One, establish a leadership team. Two, collect and review data. Three, create clear expectations. Four, teach expectations. And five, create an acknowledgement system. Component five refers to the creation of a system to reward students when they demonstrate the specific behaviors that reflect the school's PBIS behavioral expectations. Schools often create systems using tokens based on their school mascot, such as wolf tracks, or their school names, such as Bartlett Bucks. These tokens are then presented to individual students or groups of students on a daily basis by a wide variety of adults. In inclusive acknowledgement systems, all adults distribute tokens to all students, including students with significant cognitive disabilities. A common problem of practice is lack of meaningful participation in PBIS reward systems and celebration assemblies. Research tells us that students with significant cognitive disabilities are often included in acknowledgement assemblies. However, their participation is not always meaningful to them, especially if they do not participate in the school's tier one acknowledgement system. Students with significant cognitive disabilities can learn and demonstrate school-wide expectations and should be specifically acknowledged for that. With support, they can be full participants in this and all other components of school-wide PBIS. Our recommendations include explicitly teach all students about the acknowledgement system, connect individual systems to school-wide systems, and provide opportunities for general educators to give tokens to students with significant cognitive disabilities. It is important that the leadership team sets the expectations that all teachers should provide tokens to all students as shown in the image on the screen. Some general educators may need additional information and demonstration to interact effectively with students with significant cognitive disabilities and ensure fidelity of PBIS implementation across all students. When multiple adults deliver tokens to students with significant cognitive disabilities across a variety of school environments, this supports generalization of the positive behaviors. Many students with significant disabilities use individualized acknowledgement and reward systems to support positive behavior change. These systems are usually visual and include a choice of reward that they're going to earn, followed by a demonstration of a number, usually three to five, of behaviors they need to complete in order to earn the reward. One way to include students with significant cognitive disabilities in the school-wide acknowledgement system is to teach the school-wide expectations and the acknowledgement system, and then provide school tokens alongside their individual system, as shown on the screen by an image of the student's individualized system alongside an image of a PBIS token. Another, perhaps more meaningful way to include students with significant disabilities is to use the school tokens as part of their individual reward systems. If the student is motivated by the school tokens, they can serve as a reward, as seen in the image on the left. Another strategy is to use the school tokens in place of the student's individual tokens, as shown in the image on the right. Then, whenever the student receives a token, it is placed on their individual board to support the student's understanding of the meaning of the school token and that those school tokens can help them earn their selected reward. It is important to ensure that there are opportunities for all general educators to give school tokens to students with significant cognitive disabilities. It is equally important to ensure that there are opportunities for all special educators to give school tokens to all students. And lastly, it is essential to ensure that all staff are aware of student-specific modifications to the school token system. 
The takeaway is when all adults provide school tokens to all students, this increases opportunities for reinforcement of positive behavior for all students. Increased opportunities for positive reinforcement for all students is especially beneficial for students with significant cognitive disabilities who may need more practice opportunities to learn new behaviors and to generalize these behaviors with all school staff across all school environments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. If you want to learn more, there is a link to the references cited in this presentation and information about the Thai Center in the video description.